Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about the 10x programmer and if they really exist. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, does the 10x engineer or the 10x software developer actually exist? Now this is the, pretty much the million dollar question, isn't it? Because this is the person that all of the IT companies are looking for. Every single one of them are looking for the, these people. This is why we have like, uh, like well, that's why Google and Facebook and these companies have one of the high, like the, the toughest recruitment processes in the world. And this is why all of the developers are talk, all the developer companies, all the companies who are looking for developers, are talking about rockstar programmers, and they're talking about productivity and maximize, you know, maximizing efficiency and like all these things because we're all looking for these 10x developers. Now. The reality of the situation is that we have to ask, what do you mean by being a 10x developer? What does that actually mean? Because I think that depending on how you define it, it's going to be true that this, ex this person exists or it's going to be untrue depending on how we look at it. So what I mean is basically that if your idea of the 10x developer is just an individual that can outproduce within a given time frame 10 other developers, then no, there is no such individual that exists. If you have 10 developers that all are able to solve the same sort of problem, as the one developer, it's very unlikely that just in time that they are going to be able, that that one individual is going to be that much faster at solving that problem. It can happen, but it's not, I mean, now we're talking about someone who consistently basically does the work of 10 people in the same amount of time. That's just not feasible in like most of the time. But there are situations where and, and there is a viewpoint that I, where I will argue that the 10x developer does actually s exist. And that is when we're talking about complicated problems or we're talking about not necessarily genius programmers, but we're talking about solving issues in a way that allows future work to go faster. That is definitely something that exists today. So some of the programmers that I truly look up to are the programmers who create solutions that improves the work velocity, like the, the delivery speed of everybody else. I will give you just an example. Like, let's imagine for the sake, like take, uh, take uh, something like jQuery or Webpack or something like that. We take these tools that you and I and everybody in the industry depend on. Now, by create the creation of these abstraction, these people have base the people behind this have literally improved the uh, for most of us the ability for us to actually do our work. They have streamlined it in such a fashion that it's actually faster for us to do our job with these tools, and that's why we depend on them. That's why they keep on getting maintained, right? And this is true in every company that you have certain well sometimes at least you have certain people. They're not, and these are the thing, These are the programs that I truly believe that you know. These are the programs that people are looking for, because it is a fantasy to think in my world that there is the there that there are these super individuals that just out out performs every single person. They are there, but they're extremely rare. But I would argue that if we're talking about the sort of people who can actually improve the velocity, the work velocity of everybody around them, that is the true, uh, that's in my world, that the real 10x programmer. Because uh, even if you have these genius type of characters, the best thing, I mean, I've talked to developers that have worked with these sorts of people, and I have worked with such individuals myself, and even like, the benefits of having such an individual is that they might be extremely good at one specific problem and they might be able to solve that specific problem in a, like which most people would not be able to solve but that doesn't necessarily mean that that's always a good thing it's quite quite tricky to determine how well such an individual will do regardless of situation. I mean, it's very, I mean, if we're talking about this stereotypical genius type of individual that is, you know, 
oh, most people have a mental picture of these people as being these introvert characters with some type of social, um, like light social problems and, well, and sometimes severe social problems that just sits and codes away something genius. I will argue that them, ha like the way, like how fast they produce is not the thing that makes them that 10x programmer. It is what they actually produce that is going to make them the 10x programmer. Because if you have someone who can produce a solution to a problem that 10 other developers may not have been able to solve or 10 other developers who is going to use in order to be able to progress on a problem that is extremely complicated, then that is the true 10x programmer. It's not, so that's the definition I want to touch into capture here. I don't believe that there is such a thing as an individual that just types on a problem that everybody kind of knows 10 times faster than anybody else. That's not something that I believe at all. I don't think that exists. But I do believe that there are people out there who have this ability to look at a situation, to understand how to solve a problem, a very complicated problem, in a way that makes it more accessible to other developers. Because these are the sorts of things that are pretty much happening all the time in open source. You have these people who create a library or something that really does help out quite a lot of other people because they identify that, you know, this thing here, I mean, it's kind of cumbersome to write this code yourself. And if I just create this abstraction here, it's going to help a lot of people make, you know, get get to where they need to be faster. So they don't have to do the work I just did. I'll do, I will, I will bear that cross. I will make this investment, make this a really nice implementation, something a little bit more generic. And then I will give it away or I will make it available to other people so that they can go even faster than I could when I was doing this. So that to me is definitely a 10x programmer and that is the true 10x programmer. The individual who can identify bottlenecks in people's workflow or different uh, or solve very complicated problems that most people struggle with. These people for sure they exist and they are they are very valuable. These are the sorts of in individuals you really, really want in your organization, but they're also very tricky to find. So what I want you to take away from this is that I do believe that depending on how you define a 10x programmer, they do exist. I don't believe that there is an individual that is just that m so smart and so fast that they can outproduce 10 other developers on a problem that everybody in that room can solve. I don't believe that, but I do believe that there are people out there who are very, very good at identifying solutions to complicated problems that most people would kind of struggle with figuring out or that they're just extremely good at figuring out, okay, these bottlenecks here in our workflow are causing delays or like, if I just made these, like if I just give my coworkers these tools here, they will actually work even faster because if you can pr increase the velocity of even by just a little bit, by if on, for everybody who's working on a big at a big company, what you've actually done is that you have increased their development productivity by ten people. I mean, some probably sometimes even more than that. Just imagine how much your productivity has gone up through some of the tools that you work with, as opposed to having to write all that code yourself. So these abstractions and the people behind them, they are in my world the in the real 10x programmers. Have a great day.